guys, so I'm really excited to do this video because it means I get to open this box and find out what's inside with you guys. Um, I don't usually do unboxings when I'm doing sort of haul type things, but I was really excited about this one, so I thought I would unbox with you and show you what I got. I was very, very kindly sent this package from the lovely team over at Hall's Bookshop in Kent, and that's um, a bookmark with their logo on it there. They have a website, hallsbookshop.com, and they are an independent bookshop in Kent, which is about a 45 minute train journey from London, so if you're anywhere near there, then pretty easy to get to. And it's divided into two sections. It kind of contains two bookshops, one Hall's Bookshop which deals with just regular second-hand books from across the genres but they also have in the same store an antiquarian bookshop that sells rare books. It's called Adrian Harrington Rare Books and their website is harringtonbooks.co.uk and I'll link obviously both of these websites down below, definitely check them out but obviously if you're ever in the vicinity of this bookshop highly recommend checking out because they were kind enough to send me this parcel with a few goodies in it and I just love supporting independent books shops in particular secondhand bookshops so much fun I love the kind of things you can discover that you didn't even know were out there and I'm really excited to see what came in my parcel so the first thing I've pulled out isn't a book and it is some tea from PG Tips and it's juicy red berries flavor I imagine for me to drink a cup of whilst I am reading which is just a really lovely thought actually I do enjoy a good cup of tea when I'm reading so I will try this out next time I sit down to read a good bit as if that wasn't tasty enough they also sent me some biscuits and I love Mikado stick biscuits these are delicious so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down with a cup of tea and Mikado biscuits and read a book hopefully one of the books from here okay so there's two packets in here and I've unwrapped one of them and it's really well wrapped it's got like multiple layers of wrapping paper on it so they've sent it to me and kept it very safe in the post which was very kind of them and the book I have unwrapped here is The Crucible of Time by John Brunner which looks like this and um, it has a plastic protective sleeve over the dust jacket which you can't actually take off I'm not sure if I will because this is really keeping it nice and safe. And it says in the letter that this is from the antiquarian section of the bookstore. And I absolutely love this letter, which was written by Tabitha over at the bookstore. And it's just, it's a very thoughtful, thoughtful letter. So thank you, Tabitha. I have really enjoyed reading it and finding out about the books you've included in this package. So she picked out this book based on my book review of Jo Walton's Tooth and Claw because it's a book that Jo Walton herself is a fan of and it also has no humans in it which is something I really enjoy in fantasy and science fiction. I like when it goes full hog on the fantasy and science fiction and has no humans. So this is about just really really alien species, which I'm totally down with. It's originally written in 1951. Another thing I'm a big fan of is sort of 1950s, 60s science fiction. I'm gonna do the blasphemous thing and just not read you the entire back, but just this little bit here, because I think it's just really nice and really draws you into the book. It says, filled with new ideas, quirky aliens, charming love stories, and a continuing sense of wonder. This is a fascinating read and John Brunner's best ever science fiction novel. So I haven't read anything by John Brunner, but I am very excited to now from seeing this book and it's just, it's in fantastic condition so thank you so much for sending this to me and exposing me to a new, new author. I'm really excited to read this and I actually think my dad might like it as well so I might lend it to him after I read it, of course. They actually sent me a second book very kindly and it's a non-fiction book this time and it's Arthur Conan Doyle by Don Richard Cox and you all probably know I am a massive fan of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and his Sherlock Holmes series and also some of the other stuff he wrote and I don't just enjoy reading the Sherlock Holmes stories, I love reading non-fiction and essays about Sherlock Holmes and about Arthur Conan Doyle's writing and things like that so this is very much up my street and again a really nice cover that they've done an excellent job protecting I love this colour of pink, I really like that. And this book was originally published in 1985. It's also kind of my ideal length for non-fiction books to read cover to cover. It's just under 250 pages. But I am really excited to read this. I'm really excited to read both of these books. They look phenomenal and they've just been really well chosen for my own tastes. I think it's a very thoughtful package. I'm very appreciative, thanks guys. Also just this little pamphlet in here that I thought I'd show you because it's for the PBFA calendar of book fairs 2015 and you can go to pbfa.org and see the same information. It basically just has all the PBFA book fairs throughout the year of 2015 and where they are just noted down in here for you to go to. So obviously half of the year is almost gone but if I tell you in July um, if you live in Southwell there is a book fair on Sunday 
the 19th. Going into August, there is a book fair on Sunday the 2nd of August in Exeter, if you live in Exeter, but I'm not going to read out the whole leaflet to you. I found some book fairs coming up where I live locally and places I might be visiting within the next year, so I'm probably going to try and check out some of those book fairs and if you enjoy a book fair, I'd go to this website and um, see if you can find out where those are because, again, it's just nice to buy books from independent sellers, I always think. But just once again, thank you so much to the people over at Hall's Bookshop. Love the parcel, so lovely and definitely next time I'm in London and can get out to Kent, I will be visiting you undoubtedly. Um, I would love to see the, the shop in person and check out what else you have. But to everybody else, make sure to check out their websites. If you're ever in Kent, then definitely check out their bookstore. I'll also leave the specific address down below as well. And until next time, happy reading. I'll see you all later. Bye guys.